Hi, I'm Bean. This is my Everglow Urine Dun Dun inspired makeup look. If you want to see how I did it, keep on watching. So I'm going to start out with this Morphe Jewel Crew palette. It is... <laughs> what? <laughs> That's literally never happened to me before in life. <laughs> and then I'm going to begin using a lot of um, fingers because pretty much everything that's going on our upper lid is like a shimmer shade and those show up best when I use my oily fingers. So we're going to start with Fool's Gold and I'm just going to put that right into my inner corner and towards the center of my lid. Then next, I'm going to use Rose Quartz in the center of the lid. And then after that, I have this Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. We're going to be using the super pretty duochrome shade Twilight. And I'm just going to put that on my outer corner area. And now finally, using a brush, I'm going to take Amethyst. I'm just going to use that to smoke out my outer corner. I'm going to go back to this palette and go into Rich Girl and use that just to barely deepen my outer corner. This is a super soft makeup look, so I'm trying really hard not to go overboard with it. Now I really just want to make sure that everything is super feathery and smooth, so I'm going to take Desert Sand and just sort of use that on the brow bone and to make sure that everything is feathered out. So now using a more precise brush, I'm going to go into Hidden Gem and Chocolate Diamond, which are both just very rich chocolatey shades. This one just has a little bit of purple in it, which I like. And then I'm going to use that to create like a very small eyeshadow wing. Something really soft, like so. And then I am going to use actual liner. <laughs> this is a browned Kat Von Browned. <laughs> now I am going to use a actual liner. This is a brown Kat Von D tattoo liner. And I'm just going to do a very small, small line on my upper eyelid that blends right into the eyeshadow that we just applied. And to sort of help do that, once you apply your tiny wing with the liner and pull it up into your lashes, you can take the eyeshadow brush and very quickly sort of smudge it into the eyeshadow. And so it kind of looks like this. Now I just gotta do that to my other eye. So now for under the eye, I'm going back into Amethyst and a little bit of Hidden Gem just to darken it up. And I'm going to apply a little second wing. So now on top of that, I have this purple glitter. So we're just gonna use a little bit of glitter glue and apply it and then apply this baby. I'm excited. This is like a very glittery, soft, fun look. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna aim to kind of do it in between the wings, if that makes sense. And then a little bit more towards the center of my eye. Now for the final step of the eyeshadow, I'm taking Purple Rain, yes with a brush. <laughs> And I'm going to put that in my inner corner, maybe just slightly towards the center as well. Now I do have some false eyelashes from Tarte that I'm going to quickly pop on. Oh, I almost forgot to put on mascara. Okay, let me see how quickly I can also whip on some L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara while the glue that I just stupidly put on that eyelash dries. Okay. Ooh. Okay, one eye is on. For blush, I'm going to be using this 3CE pink and purple color. I'm just going to mix them both together and put them on my cheeks like that. Now I don't need like a whole lot of blush, just a little bit. Highlighter wise, we have the Jeffree Star Platinum Ice Palette, which matches this background like perfectly. But I'm going to use Pink Chill and Lavender Snow. I'm just going to illuminate the crap out of my face. For my lips, I have this NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Tea and Cookies. I'm just gonna pop that on, feather it out with, again, my fingers. 
And then on top of that, because I actually want a sparkly lip gloss type lip, I have a Marc Jacobs lip color. And this is the shade Silver Surf. It looks super like intimidating at first and like it's gonna turn your lips gray, but it does not. <laughs> Provides a really pretty silver sheen and it actually has pink reflex in it. Can you even see that? I could see it really well earlier. Now for the final step, the fun step, probably what you guys have all been waiting for, what makes the look we're gonna put some gemstones across our face in this kind of shape. These are self-adhesive, so I can literally just pop them right on. And I'm just gonna kind of vary the shapes. I'm like looking at her photo, like trying to gauge like where the nose part begins. It kind of goes up high. So right there, baby. These tiny ones are the hard part and why I need tweezers. So now we have all of those on and it actually looks like Yuren's makeup now. <laughs> Wow, thank you so much for bearing with this. <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes, but I had a lot of fun. I think it's a super cute makeup look. I've gotta go to class like, <laughs> like this, but then I'm gonna come home and film the rest of our done done outfit video. <laughs> So make sure you stay tuned for that. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you guys later. 